This video I'll be extracting some nicotine from cigarettes. Ok, to start I've made a 10% solution of sodium hydroxide. This makes an extremely alkaline solution which will lead to the cigarettes. Why I'll tell you later. After the sodium hydroxide has dissolved, I set up a 500 meter boiling flask. To this flask I've started adding 5 Marlboro Gold cigarettes. Each of these cigarettes contain around 10.2 mg of nicotine. So we're looking at around 51 mg of potential yield. After I've added the sodium hydroxide solution I've set up a distillation apparatus. So when everything was ready I've cranked up the heat. So as the tobacco is distilling this is what's happening. When the sodium hydroxide was added to the cigarettes it started freebasing the nicotine. Freebase nicotine is a liquid which means it can be steam distilled. Steam distillation is a procedure where you use water to lower the boiling point of a substance and in this case nicotine's boiling point is around 200 C which is an overkill. Also why is distilling let's play a game? This is a safety diamond and here's what every number means. So one of these is the safety diamond of sodium cyanide, another one is of nicotine and the last is of nitroglycerin. Let's see if you guys can guess which one it is. If you guess this one is the nicotine then you are wrong. This is sodium cyanide, this is nitroglycerin and this is nicotine. That's right, nicotine is literally a bigger health hazard than sodium cyanide. Alright, so I've let it distill for around 3 hours and I went to play some Fortnite and after I came back I dismantled the apparatus. What we're left with in the collecting flask is a solution of nicotine, water and some essential oils. Ok, so now that we have our nicotine water solution we must extract it. For this extraction I've picked the diaphole one of its cool properties is that it's extremely flammable, a sedative and passes through almost every gas mask including the one I have. So to a separatory funnel I've added the nicotine water solution and then I've added around 20 ml of diethyl ether. Then the separatory funnel was capped and shaken. Also remember that when you use volatile solvents like ether you have to sometimes vent the funnel because the pressure will build up and it can pop the cap off. After I've stopped shaking it I've let the layer settle and I've emptied the funnel. For a while I thought that something was wrong with what I was doing because those air bubbles were coming in, but it turns out that was because I've had the funnel cap. So I've decided to wash the nicotine solution 3 more times with diethyl ether, and I've collected all of the ether layer. Now theoretically most of the nicotine should have passed over into the ether layer. Now is the fun part, which is evaporating the diethyl ether. Diethyl ether has a boiling point of around 30 C, which means it very easily evaporates. So I went ahead and placed it in mildly hot water. Now it may be hard to see, but those bubbles are from the ether being evaporated. So I've left it for an hour to make sure all of the ether has evaporated. And after I've came back all of the ether layer was gone and there was some ugly brown stuff at the bottom However, you probably can't see it on camera. So to a bottle I've transferred the liquid via pipette Even though there's barely anything I think that we've got a pretty high yield considering we started with five cigarettes This is probably more than I've expected now You may be double checking the family and saying this is not how much nicotine I've had I had to break it to you But you've actually been epically pranked. This is actually some tea in a bottle and I wanted the thumbnail to look cool Sorry for that. Alright guys, so this is everything. This is what I'm currently working on and if you like this video, be sure to subscribe.